is the perfect exposure process and why we use third party. All right? Because you contacting your prospects, you bring trust. Your expert, draw the line from the expert to the prospects, brings the credibility. All right? That is the perfect process. Because you could go all day. If you try and be the guy that brings trust and credibility, you're messing up. Because now there's no room for your third party. There's no reason for anyone else to contact them. See, I always, I always get everyone that I talk to, I always make them feel like I'm not even the one that can get them in or not, so they need to deal with someone else. So I'm setting that up from the gate because then I become the person, instead of trying to get them, I'm more of the person that is like doing them a favor by referring them. So I'm always looked at as the guy with the hookup and the nice guy that's trying to maybe see what he can do for them. I'm never the guy that gives you the job. I'm never the guy that says, hey, if you want to do it, let's get together and you're in. What I always do is I always just try and use my trust and then I'll get that other person to bring the, the credibility. All right? You always want to remember this. Facts tell and stories sell. See, whenever you're talking to people, you do not have to know the answer to every question. A lot of times when people go, especially the urchins, they go, well, before I talk to anybody, I'm going to read it. I'm waiting for my kid to come in the mail. I'm going to do all my research because I don't want someone to ask me a question that I don't know the answer to. Because then I'm unprofessional and I don't know what I'm doing. Listen, you're new. You're not supposed to know anything. The less you know, the better you'll do. All right? Guaranteed. All right? Here's why. If someone ever asks you a question, what you want to do is instead of answering it, share a story. Someone says, hey, listen, how's the speeding ticket coverage work? And, you know, look, I could tell them, you know, all day long. I could say, well, what happens is step number one is you receive the ticket. Step number two, you fax it to the law firm. Step number three, they review it and they call you back within a couple of minutes. Step number four, they set up the appointment, an attorney calls you and you tell them what happened and then step number five, they go to court. Step number six, I mean, they don't care about that. You know, so repeat after me. I don't know, I don't know. but all I know is, but all I know is, and then at that point you just share a story. Look, I don't know, but all I know is, Cesar Rodriguez has been pulled over eight times for moving traffic violations, and every single time he was supposed to be in court, these attorneys went to court for him, represented him, he never has had a point on his license, and every single time they've been able to drop it down to defective equipment or, you know, whatever. They're like, it just never even happened. And he's never had to pay an attorney's fee for all those times, and right now, he has the best insurance rates that you can get. Wow. Would you guys agree that's more powerful?